see it at all. <laughs> It's an easy start. It's a nice day out. Air pressure. Nice. Sat there all nice. Still got air pressure. Bring it, bring it into the shop. Got some new signs up there. nuts were barely torqued but I can tell that that one's not really on that one's not really on that one's not really on we'll see how many of them how loose they are just rust holding it on that one's tight so that one that's not good there's threads in there <laughs> You're hitting the jack is one of the problems on this side. You can see how stretched out and mangled these are. That one looks good. That one looks decent, but you can still see it stretched. And that's man. Oh yeah, no, we're not. No, there's a bunch there. That's the line that would be in the middle of it. It's sketchy too. Yeah. That one's loose. That one's loose. That one's loose. That one's that loose. One's that one's loose. That one came off with the inner. It, it was loose. That one's on her. That one's on her. So you got four of the lug nuts are holding it on. <laughs> We're attempting to pull this hub off. It does not want to come off. We beat it with a sledgehammer. Uh oh. It does not want to come off. Not the brake shoes. This side's got a milkshake and a whole bunch of rust in there.
this seal is good. This seal wasn't leaking. Water must have been coming from the cap. I see the back, the back side is dry. It smells horrible though. Kind of putrid. It's gross. If you didn't know there was a grease fitting under there, it'd be easy to miss. That thing has not been greased in a long time. Is that easy or what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try this rust remover out here. I have some rusty tools and uh, I've mixed up a solution of 90% water, 10% of this rust remover in this little bucket here and warm water. And I'll set that down in there. And we'll let it set for about 12 hours and see what happens. So I'm gonna throw this in there too in that solution. It's got rust on it. We'll see what happens. And drop a couple other pieces down in there too. That came out of the rust remover. Crazy shiny. No rust on it whatsoever. Can't believe it. This had rust all over it too. No rust. So here I'm getting ready to put this one in. See how it turns out. That's how the one looked when I put it in. And then there it is after it was in there for two hours, maybe? It says you could leave it in 12 hours. That's shocking. Put these in there. Oh, dude, don't splash them. Just very gently drop them in there, please. This is all those cleaned up wrenches from yesterday. They look new, they're all rusty, crazy. And the black oxide sockets. We're replacing all these studs here with brand new ones because the old ones were so bad. So we're just gonna wow. have to push all these in. Okay. So these are the studs that we took out. All 10 of them were bad. So we're replacing them here with brand new ones. Just getting ready to knock all these in but uh you can see how horrible that is that's no we'll call that one number one number two and there's even threads hanging around it there number three it's like what was holding these wheels on this bus Four. see how they're all bent over Six. There's no way that was holding torque. <laughs> Seven. That is the best one stud of all of them, and it's still shit. Eight. Yeah, that wasn't doing a lot. Nine. That's another one that is sort of okay, but you can still see the threads are all stretched on it. It's still stripped out in there. And number 10. That was not very, that is not very good. Threads are all bent over, totally stretched, stripped. That's the inner lug now, that holds on both wheels. So, I don't know, he was very close to losing these wheels. But these new ones are gonna be awesome. So these airbags on the 102D3, is that what, yeah, um, they're mounted up with this plate through the top of the bus, not like a regular type of airbag. And then they put this bolt here where you can't even get a socket on it. 
That, that makes it nice and fun. You know, they got all this room to work with. This just bad design to give you that much room over there. I guess you can't really see it, but there's there's no room to get a socket on it. But uh, you can see how bad these airbags are. This is actually one of the good ones. <laughs> so here's another airbag. Just showing you how dry rotted and nasty these are. This is a different one than the one I just showed you. And then here's another one. Side, you know they're not good <laughs> but they're all they're all like this they're replacing every single airbag on here even the tags have like holes in them one through <laughs> that's crazy you get the other side too here's some of the new ones Not something you want. <laughs> Just a slight shock problem. Just absolutely no bushing in there. Up the holler through the trees And from a mile away You can hear them play As they climb that hill with ease but At the top of that mountain There's a new life waiting For those who can make the run If they can make it to the top Scott will put them in the shop Till their new life has begun Where the buses come to run Bus Grease Mountain We're gonna get that big job done